Karibu Zanzibar, it means welcome to Zanzibar. Today we are taking you to Yozani Forest to meet the endemic species of red colobus monkeys, commonly known as red gerezas. Hfaka Bay National Park, of which Yozani Forest is a part, was established in 2004 and is the only national park in Zanzibar. It covers about 50 square meters and is located in the low-lying area of Hwaka Bay. Where exactly Yazani Forest is located and how to get there? Yazani Forest is located about 40 km from the capital of the island Stone Town and less than 20 km from the paradise beaches of the east coast Paye and Jambiani. If you are traveling to the southern beaches of Zanzibar, a stop in Yazani will be a bull eye. Yazani Forest is a part of Hwaka Bay National Park and is a natural rainforest, reportedly one of the last remaining in East Africa. To red colobos, there are also blue monkey here, which sometimes show up in the tree tops. In addition, there are also grey monkey, galago monkey, joikers, haraxes active at night, lizards, over 50 species of butterflies, 40 species of birds, and a teeny one and a half long paddle frog, which is endangered with extinction. The biggest attraction of the park and at the same time its showcase are red gerezas, monkey from the family of werewet, which an endemic species. We can only meet them in Zanzibar. Okay. When they are not active, they stay very quiet. Okay. So you need to walk and listen where you can see them. Okay. Did you find it? Yes. yes. They live it in Zanzibar for 1500 years. They live it in group of about 40 individuals, of which only a maximum of 4 are males. The local population believes that these monkeys are disease causing, and that is why they were exterminated for a long time. Monkeys are curious and friendly, they like to play tricks. So despite the fact that, as a few monkeys, they do not have thumbs, they apparently often parade in the park with tourist phones, so it's better to keep them with you. Monkeys like to play, easily shorten the distance and enter into relationship with travelers. Despite the consent of ranger, contact with monkeys should be kept to a minimum, as there are risk of contracting disease that could be dangerous to this small population of endangered species. For this reason, it's forbidden to feed monkeys and any other animal living in the park under penalty. The monkeys get used to it easily and instead of looking for food on their own, they visit nearby villages, searching garbage dumps for food. The principles work both ways, so when exploring the park it's also worth taking care of the safety and using a repellent that protects against insects and and living in a humid tropical forest, especially mosquitoes. And you can see this monkey is different from the other monkeys mm -hmm. because normally monkeys have five fingers on the feet yeah. and five fingers on the hand. Uh -huh. But this monkey is different because they have five fingers on the feet. They have four fingers on the hand. Mm -hmm. So when you look to the hand, they don't have a thumb. Mm -hmm. That's why no Instagram, no Facebook. Right? <laughs> because they don't have a thumb. <laughs> Why did the red colobus monkeys choose this place to settle? This question is bothering many scientists and currently remains unanswered. There have many attempts to relocate the species to mainland Africa or Madagascar, and each time the attempts end in failure. 
The food they found on the spot never suited them. Given the distance of mainland Africa from Zanzibar, this should not cause a huge change in the climate. Yet, for the red colobus species, a specific location is of great importance. On the island, in the Hwaka Bay, a unique ecosystem has formed, which results in ideal condition for the life of endemic species that are now endangered due to the excise economic expansion of Zanzibar. And what the local monkey eat? They feed on thick leaves, on ripe fruits, coconuts and on ripe mangoes. There is a bacteria in their bodies that help digest unripe fruit. In order to survive, they had to adapt to new conditions becoming true pioneers. They learned to move according to the rules of the road, heal abdominal pain with alcohol, overcome fear the humans and farm animal. Faka Bay National Park, of which Yosani Forest is a part, was established in 2004 and is the only national park in Zanzibar. It covers approximately 50 square kilometers and is located in the low-lying area of Faka Bay, which is why it's exposed to frequent flooding. Thanks to this, it provides ideal condition for the development of unique species of animals who like moisture and marshy environment. Co oni jedzą tutaj? Co oni jedzą tylko te banany? Czy to jest w ogóle jakaś odmiana, która nie je żadnej bananą? Tutaj się kupa. What they eat? Banana? Z Zibaret Kolobos Manki, they don't eat banana. They don't eat mango. Mango! They don't eat apple. Nie jedzą mango. These monkeys are vegetarian monkeys. They eating leaves, flower, the bark of the trees, and they eating green fruit, very young fruit. They don't eat banana or mango because of their digestion system. They cannot digest sugar. But this monkey is different from the other monkeys. This monkey they can live, they can live longer, like a three months. Three months without okay. drink water. Mm -hmm. okay. They don't need water because they get fresh water yeah, from the from leaves, leaves and flower. Mm -hmm. We call them Zanzibar Red Colobus monkeys. because they found no way except Zanzibar. Red because of the red color of their back. Colobus because of four finger without thumb. And monkey because they are mouth. Eh? Arriving in the park, we get to the parking at which the reception is located. We buy a ticket and assign a guide. There is also a small museum and free toilet. Most of the park is located on the other side of the main road, crossing by the over huge ropes and ladders on which entire monkey families move. Admission to Yozani Forest costs $10. The forest can be visited from 7.30 till 5 p.m.
How long does it take to visit the park? If you are not botanist or inquisitive traveler, two hours should be sufficient. The last, but no less important element of the park is the mangrove forest. We reach it on a foot in 10 minutes or by car in 3 minutes. Depending on the water level we will find roots and mud or high water reaching up to the floor of a newly built footbridge. In 2021, a new approximately 60 meter long footbridge was put in use, on which you can safely move both a hike and a low waves. The landscape is a bit like a swampy, and that is home to numerous crab families. This is normal level of water, or sometimes no. it's bigger? Yeah, there's a high tide and low tide. Okay. Low tide, okay. Yeah, so high tide you come and touch the water. Okay. Oh. Because, you know, Sorry. This bridge now, this is the new bridge. Yeah? Uh -huh. The new bridge, that's why it's not covered by the water. Shit. You can see this one was the old bridge, yeah? Stare most, yeah? Stare most. It was very small and mm. when it is high tide, covered by the water. So the, the new bridge are much higher than the old one. There are three types of mangrove on the side, black, white and red. The red variety is easiest to recognize because it has the highest and most exp extensive root system. One of the big roots is the red mangrove. Uh -huh. Cervene. Yeah. And we have this one is white so mangroves. Biale mm -hmm. mangrove. Eh? But when you look here, you can see the large area dominated by the red one because of the big roots. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A red, uh, red one inside has the red color? Yeah, red color is inside. Baby mangroves. Because this big tree they produce the seed. Yeah? Uh -huh. So when the seed of mangrove when they fall and stick to the mud, then the new mangrove grow. Oh, so that's why you see the baby mangrove. If you like this movie, leave a thumb up and a comment. And if you like our channel, Please subscribe. Thank you and see you later.